Hiking is more than just being in the elements. It's about resetting your mental being and allowing you to tackle each and every new day. And if you don't believe me, hear it from the hikers themselves. I was going through a lot in life a couple of years ago and then a friend of mine invited me for a hike. It was hard. I had, I didn't have the right shoes. It was a difficult trail and it was messy. But the feeling that I got after the hike, I was like, I want to do this again. I hike because like, it's like therapy, but not having to sit in front of a therapist and pay a lot of money, you know? Like, it's, it's just so liberating, sets you free, you know, gets an exercise in. So it's got, it's got a lot of health benefits. I did my first hike with Siolo. It was about 18 kilometers. That was my first hike. So I, I achieved hiking 18 kilometers, and that for me was an achievement. And outside of hiking, it taught me not to give up on anything and when you put goals you need to achieve them so hiking literally puts you in that state of mind of if I start something I need to finish it. It's very addictive because it gives you that natural high you know like um, you drink coffee you get caffeine high then you go hiking you get a high that is I don't know like it's it's nature man you know the healing the, that healing thing that nature gives you so you want to go back and go back like i have some of my friends um that i invited on one hike and now i see them out there hiking and i'm not even there like they're not even doing it with me anymore so it's quite addictive i mainly focus on my mentality um not to trip, not to fall. You cautious of where you're going. How are you stepping? When are you stepping? And how are you supposed to take that step? So, because some trails um, have have stones, so you find that you need to concentrate more on the walking, and your your mindset needs to be on the right space. You learn a lot about nature. You learn a lot about yourself individually. You do proper introspection about yourself when you're out there, when you start seeing nature, when you start seeing that there are things that you can achieve outside of hiking, but you need to first put yourself in, in the limelight of, I'm going to hike and I'm going to finish it. So in life, you also need to do that, set goals and tell yourself that I'm going to do it and I'm going to finish it. I think more than anything I've learned to take in moments a lot because with nature obviously when you're there you have to like take in everything so with I apply that with everything that I do like just you know savor the moment type of thing like just take it in good or bad it's calming it's relaxing it's quiet and also creepy sometimes because like the bushes <laughs> are a bit creepy but it's also good exercise and it's also good for the mind because like the, all, the whole inhale exhale thing happens a lot by the mountains so it's good for you i mean people think that you know when you hike you just have to go to like the highest mountains it's just a walk so you can start obviously gradually with the walk and then just enjoy the nature and then eventually you'll see yourself hiking a lot of kilometers so it's good for the for everything I saw that a lot of people are scared of hiking, you know, because people think that there's a bunch of snakes sitting here waiting for you or it's it's very dangerous and all of that. So with my YouTube, I share content where I'm just showing people that like the fun side of hiking. And I mean, we live in Gauteng. There's a lot of hiking trails just on our like back door, you know. Um, yeah, so I think the content is just about that and just to show people trails that some people may not have been exposed. I have a small hiking group 
and I'm the one who finds new trails with uh, for my group and all of that. So I'm also like, you know, I direct people, go there, go there. If you like, depending on fitness levels, how much time do you want to spend outdoors and all of that. Some of the changes have been, I lost weight, I'm happier. If I'm having like a difficult week, I have something to look forward to for the weekend. So it keeps me going. Starting, I would say like start with a, an easier, more flat surfaced uh, trail. Test your fitness levels. Don't buy equipment yet until you see what you really like. And then you can start getting your equipment as uh, well, depending on what you like and according to the stuff that you want to do outdoors or on the hiking trails. Because equipment is expensive and so there's no, there's no such a thing as bad weather in hiking. There's bad gear, you know, so you want to get your equipment according to that. Okay guys, now that we've done with our hook, this is what you need to take on a basic hike. Mm, all right, so um, there is various kinds of hikes, but today we're just going to focus on the day hike. And this is what you need. Very important, critical, a sunscreen. As you can see, the sun is very bright today. Like, you need to be protected from the sun. And I carry my snacks, water. Very, 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 very important. You don't want to be dehydrated on a hike. Mm. Yeah. Snacks for the hike. Nuts, very good protein. Banana, potassium. And um, uh, sometimes nature calls while you're in the mountain. We try not to litter, but very important. Yeah, oh yes, this is something else. So when you get a cramp or a knee or ankle, this tape is very good. Um, yeah, and then very important shoes. Hiking shoes are your best investment for hiking, especially when you start doing uh, more hectic and more difficult hikes. But in the beginning, if you just have uh, good sneakers with um, good sole uh, cushioning, then you're good. And guys, don't forget two most important things. You need your phone when you're going on a hike in case you need to call for help and you need to take pictures because it's not a hike if it doesn't have pictures and you need your first aid kit in case you need to cover up a bruise or um, just to sort yourself out an injury or whatever but for now let's get back to my hike Hey, Shapa Unjani, this is KO, Mr. Cash Time, this kind of God. And right now you're checking out Joe Berg today. Let's go. <laughs> 